So, um, so basically, uh, what we have is that Morty from CSS, a canonical partner, have you know have uh, been uh, you know nice enough to write documentation for uh, for OpenStack and release it with the Natty release. Um, what we have on screen is is what exists today. Um, you know, as you, as you can see, you know, it's handling the the main parts like image management, instance, storage, networking, stuff like that. Um, so this is what 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 we have today, and. Since we're, you know, since Ubuntu is integrating OpenStack with the orchestra stuff, and you know, maybe adding some integration to it, so it might make sense to um, to focus, you know, that this documentation on on the role that Ubuntu is gonna or the way Ubuntu is gonna use OpenStack. So right now, this documentation lives, you know, on the CSS blog basically. So so. We would like to get it in the Ubuntu wiki somehow. You know, th these are the open questions. How are we going to get it? How it's going to be maintained? You know, going forward, uh, what do we want to add to it? Or like, is there any Ubuntu specific bits we want to see uh, added to that? Um, that's basically the uh, you know the open questions. So, for the Ubuntu bits to be added, uh, TBD, TBD. Yeah. So. It's all uh, not defined yet. Not defined yet. Okay. Um, we we know we're probably going to go with KVM and Alexi. Okay. Um, so Alexi is probably Ubuntu. Excuse like, me. Is Alexi? Uh, I suppose it's Ubuntu specific for now. Yeah. Just really quick, I can take some notes, but I'm not. It's really about the cloud terminology, so if someone else can chip to on that. Yeah. Sure. No oh, I need the bed. Mm -hmm. I need the bed. Yeah, I can do it. So the docs right now in that blog aren't Ubuntu specific yet in some areas? They are. They're really but they are. They're, they're very Ubuntu specific. Yeah, so, so they're all implemented on Natty. Okay. But since OpenStack uses Natty as a development platform, yeah. there's not much. The per, I mean, that's pretty much what the OpenStack documentation is. Right. It's open to Okay. Right, since we haven't really done any integration with Natty. It's just a base. And so, is there any integration planned for Elementum? Um, there's plans for. Well, we're probably going to add better glance support. Probably glance um, might do Swift. What's your thoughts on that? Um, what using Swift of uh, typing? Um, we well, I think that the big thing would be orchestra. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, w I hope that we're able to at least easily deploy a Swift. Uh, hopefully. Easily? Well, I, it needs to, yeah. Is it value of easy? It needs to work and be usable. Um, I mean, are you... Are you okay. I know very little about it, but about Swift, but I mean, like, it seems... Like it's not trivial to set up and no, I mean it, it's not com it's not complex the software, but its requirements, be, you know, because it actually cares about the underlying hardware and file system and, and things like that, and, you know. Yeah, if we can't handle that with a combination of being able to turn up machines physically and pump it, then we all should go home. Okay. Yes, I think I it's a solvable thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So we're still talking about integration stuff. Um, you're still talking about how we're going to do things. Um, I know we have regular calls with the CSS guys. So mm -hmm. once once we figure out what we're going to do, then we'll just just implement the information. Oh. Hasn't saved this stuff. Oh, I just lost it too. It's not James Page. James <laughs> <laughs> Page is a lot of people right now. I wonder where he is. Um. Yeah, so we're still talking internally with integration, so. 
So you're saying that's not defined yet? It's not defined yet. Um, okay. And Jim, you were saying that all the docs that are, um, you know, the <coughs> Anna's written basically are, are, can be included in other texts? They're under Apache license, all of them. Okay. Uh, Zara, she takes patches through Bazaar for yourself. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, he's also in patch with Yeah, she, she's great. She, yeah. I'm sorry, so, uh, and, what was that? Uh, Anne Gentle, she's the OpenStack uh, content stacker. Uh huh. Um, and all the docs for OpenStack are in uh, Launchpad uh, under Bazaar branches. Uh, I'll put a, a a link to the page in the Etherpad. She's pretty but responsive too. Yeah, she, she's great. Yeah, she. I agree. Um, it's all under Apache license. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, we have relied heavily on uh, OpenStack uh, admin guide for this. Yeah. Um, the only difference is um, this is this this takes a tutorial kind of style. Okay. The main aim of um, this documentation is to help someone to have a working setup. The admin guide uh, aims to be some kind of a reference book. It's reference material. Also, the UEC it's stuff. It's not like a tutorial. The UEC stuff will probably have to be renamed to Unicloud as well. That's no, really no, this is. Um, okay. this, this was, that was a reference to an earlier book. Sure. Like YouTube's big NAS guide. Okay. So we had something similar last year, um, which was uh, Euclid's big NAS guide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so do, do you guys like uh, see value in, in us maintaining and with a specific, you know, uh, yeah. box? Because it's it's going to be pretty specific. It is? Yeah. yeah. It's just that we don't know what's going to be specific yeah. today. Yeah. Okay, so we can do that. Yeah. I think Anna is going to include this as a tutorial on uh, the yeah. tutorial. Oh, really? Okay, it's back. Okay. Do you already have some wiki documentation? Uh, no, not that I know. No. Okay, so uh, I guess so. It's, it's probably too early to discuss, you know, what, what's going to be added. So um, I guess the uh, the final question, you know, like it, it is how what's the best way that we can integrate what's already been written with mm -hmm. the wiki, which mm -hmm. I'm I'm not so sure. So right now. The docs are written in in in, in yeah. YCSS in a wiki format, right? That is. They're, they're essentially in WordPress format, which is okay. just a modified okay. HTML. Um, so oh, those docs are in WordPress format. Yes. Yeah. So we probably want to get them on on the wiki .com. Here's the thing, like uh, the Ubuntu packaging guide, they used to have it on the wiki, and with the content, they found it to be difficult, a little bit difficult to maintain. Yeah. Uh, and also you can't file bugs against, it's hard to file bugs against a wiki. Okay. So what they did was they started using the Python Sphinx mm -hmm. for that project and it's still a work in progress, but I think they've been pretty pleased with it um, because they're getting contributions from you know, packagers and things like that because writing Python Sphinx in you know, restructured text is just like um, wiki text pretty much it's, as far as level of difficulty. Um, and so they're able to have, you know, uh, submit bizarre branches, merges, uh, bugs against things, and things like that. Uh, and also, with having it in uh, Python Sphinx, you can output to PDF, EPUB, you know, HTML, all those different kinds of things. So um, that, that'd certainly be something that I would recommend looking at. You can talk to Daniel Holbach yeah. about, you know. I know, he's written the development guide in, in, in that, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll have to put all of the OpenStack official stuff is in the space. Yeah. 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 So okay. So so really, yeah, if you go to um, like that swift.openstack.org or mm -hmm. no, that's all deri derived from these things. Uh, I think that they were um, uh, with the uh, packaging guide stuff, they were even like looking to build out like an Ubuntu theme mm -hmm. for it from HTML output and stuff. Okay. So you know, it'd be a matter of dropping that in.
So are we thinking we will have <coughs> an offline yeah. version included in uh, in a package? Sorry, offline version of. Uh, are we going to like include in the OpenStack package a rendered version or? Yeah, there's there's it. already a Nova doc dash docs package that basically packages the documentation that's built with Sphinx. Is that only for Nova? Um, I think there is one for Swift. I'm Wait, not what, sure about what was that. There, we already packaged the documentation from the B So, mm -hmm. but this documentation we would want added and included in an available package. Right. Yeah, I agree. And it would be not tied to Nova or to Swift or to. It would be. It would be a package that is specific for Boom. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just add that. So, what one do you think the uh, the sort of team can uh, like come up with the list of things that are you know the integration goals basically or um, I guess for documentation it well, will need to work not not just the list of things right. But well, we have some idea of, doc, of integration, like we're going to package the da dashboard. Um, we're probably going to do the database as a service. Okay. Um, but it's done with OpenPC, so we have to look at that a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you say? The database as a service yeah. is done in OpenVZ. Okay. So we have to figure out how we're going to do that. That is not part of officially part of OpenStack yet. So right. I wouldn't even. I mean, but we can solve. It's not. I mean, there are lots of problems with some of those just these little startup projects. Okay. I mean, I I, I don't. Does, does, is it all even open source? The, the open source the the database one. The load balancing one is it? It requires proprietary stuff, and so it will never be accepted unless they fix that. So I'd have to, I'd, when I get back, I'm just gonna look at. We're talking, you know, before that would actually ever become a part of OpenStack, that it's gonna be months and months, I mean. And they're likely to, because they made a bunch of assumptions out of that talk, they made, they're likely to take one direction and hit a brick wall and turn. So what, that was developed by Rackspace and tossed over a wall, and uh, we don't like that. Okay. Well. If it's a usable upstream project, if it's outside of Rackspace or if OpenStack it, if it's, entirely, if it's open source. yeah, I mean, if, that's it was, the question, if it was usable, it would be valuable. I yeah. I kind of would guess that it it needs yeah. it needs to be evaluated before we can do anything. Yes, my my guess would be it would not be at a usable upstream because in sourced by, for example, CAC the dashboard was not usable because it was using tools that we can't. It was using some fucked up shit. Some <laughs> 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 technical terms so we can see. <laughs> yeah, maybe not that. Maybe I shouldn't have spoken that way, but it was it was problematic to package. So. So I just want, might have a question to Jim. Uh, you mentioned that you know the rest. Rest stuff and Sphinx stuff, which is great. You know, I, I had a thought about it, but I was just concerned whether you know documentation contributors would find it a little bit harder to contribute to that over a wiki. Do you face something like that? Um, well, you look at who your contributing audience is. Yeah. You know, if there are people that are working with Bazaar and branches and stuff like that all the time, yeah, it's not that hard to yeah. pull down stuff. The, the, I mean, the users for OpenStack tend to be either system administrators or developers. Yeah. Both can handle. It, uh, yeah, it's not your grandma. So yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. And as far as like yeah. a uh, syntax like choice, uh, and, and I wouldn't say that if I hadn't seen it in practice. And you can talk to Daniel and just say, "Hey, Jim said you know, developers they seem okay with this." And, you know, sure. Get some confirmation from him, mm, but it seems to have been that way in practice. And actually, I got that feedback from um, uh, and and gentle herself because when they. The uh, uh, packaging guide folks were wondering what syntax to use in developing their thing, and I was like, "Well, you know, I asked, you know, I asked Anne you know, about you know, contributions from developers on OpenStack stuff, 
to the OpenStack mm -hmm. project, and um, she gave a thumbs up. Yeah. So. We, we found that, that within our documentation, we, we did have wiki documentation. We couldn't treat it. We couldn't look, develop it in lockstep as we did the public project. Okay. And so it always diverged. Like wiki stuff was a separate process from our documentation. Yeah. And so we decided we were going to have documentation that we were going to actually take care of. And we just made it align with our development um, pro process. And we just, just used um, Git. You know, get pull request on our on our docs, and we have something that generates that. You know, just make it simple markdown, and then you can put it wherever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just. You are, are you getting any contributors outside? Yeah, that? yeah, it's been it's been a lot better. So they can open up bugs against it. They can just say this is wrong, and, and we can fix it, or you know, they can fix it themselves. Yeah, if, it, if, if your if your community is mostly yeah. sysadmins and, and developers, like that does not Which work if you're writing documentation for desktop users. Desktop users. Yeah. This, yes, so I think that's reasonable for this. Okay. They're sure. not, not universally applicable. People afraid of opening up a terminal are not likely to yeah. be contributing <laughs> documentation to OpenStack. Yeah. And it lowers the barrier entry for people that do do that. It's yeah. like a normal workflow yeah. and you have a <laughs> you can tie versions together, you can yes, make and that, that's very desirable too, yeah. But yeah, and keeping me out of a wiki editing is makes my life better. That's when you can delegate to me, what, right? What and root? Yeah, I'll move this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do anything in the wild on the website that they needed. People really like how they, how they do navigation aids. So, I mean, we actually copied this back. The Rails, Rails doc does this. It's actually pretty good. Okay, so I guess the uh, I guess we're gonna finish early. So, so the actions are gonna be that we're gonna switch to Sphinx for the current docs. Um, the server team is gonna define, you know, the the Ubuntu specific bits that we should be targeting for the next yep. release. And we're gonna ship an offline version of the docs uh, in the packages. Um, and that's that's mostly it. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that's good. And thanks, Marty, for all the great work you, you've done on the, on the docs so far. Thank you. So for me, since I didn't pay enough attention, the, uh, <laughs> the CSS, the CSS tab you have up yeah. there, yeah. that'll we think that we can generate something that would be viewable there from our. We can generate HTML, which hopefully they can use. Okay. Oh yeah, WordPress. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tomorrow they have. Uh, I actually just had this morning at eleven a, a doc session about like a, a Drupal based documentation platform and stuff. So I hope to be giving like a lightning talk on it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, we change things like a little bit, but it's still in the early, little bit early stages. But some it can do some cool stuff with like content reviews and. You know, write one thing and then use it in multiple contexts. And, yes. uh, it, it abstracts, so you don't need to know like a certain syntax and things like that. And you can <coughs> remix content, and, uh, some some cool stuff. So uh, hope to have a little bit of a demo tomorrow, like a lightning talk. Maybe. So, yeah. um, so if you'll be at the plenaries uh, tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. So I think for for CSS, you guys would like. Like you would like HTML versions of this to be included mm -hmm. on the blog? Actually, we are not too concerned about uh, this format because we um, the ultimate goal is to release a PDF. PDF. Yeah, we okay. look at these articles as just an interim Six. platform so that we can serve some feedback. PDF as well. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so if it's PDF, then last time for Euclidus we used uh, LaTeX. LaTeX. Yes. Yeah. So now we can use whatever. Yeah. So, so I think this thing, you know, thing is is going to work out. Yeah. Great. If you want to use this content to kind of um, Populate uh, the initial version of whatever mm -hmm. docs that you're going to maintain in Swift. So okay. if, 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 if it is needed in a specific format, we can probably use XSLP or some such thing and convert it. Okay. I guess one uh, kind of lesser thing to consider Apache licensed docs. Uh, most Ubuntu docs are licensed as CC by SA okay. 3.0. I don't know, like does Apache license just mean take it and use it however you want it, kind of for a large yeah, part? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just add like an MSDH. There, 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 there might be there might be an attribution in Apache. Is that right? So you may need to at some point just put a you know a section that says portions of this were taken from here. That's yeah. And we ended up having to do it because uh, all of our docs are pulled from the code, which is Apache, and so that right. stuff has to be Apache license. They either have two separate licenses in one document, which is Apache. Yeah, it was free. The comments in our code are licensed under this license, but the code is. But, uh, but we built, you know, a lot of we built the actual documentation out of that. Right. No, that's so what yeah. I'm saying. And so it'd be like you have to say, if it, yeah. Yeah. So it, it. So we had to go to the lawyers and ask if that was okay. And they said yes. They said we don't care. Our content is currently on uh, Creative Commons. So we don't mind changing it. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, I guess that's everything for this session. Thanks everyone. Thank you.